Right, T. Hey, I'm watching this one. Achmed the Dead Terrorist Band in Malaysia by Jeff Dunham. Three years ago. Let's go back. Uh, I think that's good enough. That bit, that bit, that I just showed you, one of his associates said, oh, they're probably aware of all this, and Jeff goes, no, they're not, we're promoting it with him on the poster. You know what that tells me, analytically, is that Jeff Dunham was aware of the commonplace person. And how they think of certain things. He wasn't viewing it through a political lens or a politically correct or a social justice warrior lens. He was viewing it simply from a standpoint of this is the reason why these people, these regular normal people, people not not individuals in a in a social political or economic ecosphere of whatever yeah, I can choose some really fucked up words for that he was viewing it as these people my fellow human beings want to see this comedy skit this act that I do that's what they want and their government is like, no, you can't do this. See, pull back from that. Look at it holistically. It's not just people in Malaysia. It's every government. He was viewing it holistically. These people just want to have fun. They want to enjoy the comedy show. They want to laugh. These are just my fellow people. My fellow living breathing beings instead of viewing it through some socio-political psychopathic filter this is one of the reasons that Jeff Dunham has become so popular that everyone including myself enjoys what he does when I look at him I don't just see the guy standing there doing the act. I see into his soul, read through his spirit. That's what I do. It's part of my job. And when I look at people like, I don't know, pick a politician standing up in front of people going off at the mouth on whatever. And they're just so fucking negative, so polarized, so unyielding, so unwilling to just let people be people. Quite honestly, just enjoying being alive should be the driving mindset behind some of the globalist agendas. It would help make things a lot better instead of socio-economical, political, social justice warrior faggotry. Yeah, well, that's enough of me being a negative fucking cunt. I'm just, I'm just going to keep watching and enjoying this bit that he's doing. Some of his videos on YouTube go back like over 10 years. They say time flies when you're having fun.
<laughs> For me, I just, I haven't paid attention to how long it's been. I've just been enjoying Jeff Dunham. Fuck me, it's been over 10 years. A lot's happened. I've changed a good bit since way back then. Politicians and bureaucrats and the world governments haven't. They've gotten worse. But hey. That's one of the reasons why I'm here on this planet. Still offering the opportunity to change. Stop doing all the bullshit. Because it, it's not about what they're doing. Even though that's a small part of it. That's a symptom. That stems from their focus. Which determines their reality. They're focused on... They're afraid of, of the whatever... They want to control things. They want they want uh, they want people to be social, politically correct, and and do what they tell them. And just like uh, that one governor, mayor, whatever Garcetti, threatening to infringe people's right to live their lives. Oh, if you have a gathering at Thanksgiving, we'll just lock you up. Seriously? I mean, yeah, sure. There's this uh, fucking Pac-Man virus that you, World Governments Commission, Satan, to make in order to depopulate humanity because the planet's grossly overpopulated and it's causing numerous problems, but... If people had self-control to not fuck like rabbits, then there wouldn't be that big of a problem. If you weren't waging war constantly and breeding more meat for the slaughterhouse, there wouldn't be that problem. If you cared about the lives of the people that you're sworn into offices to uphold the rights and liberties of, not just America, but all over the planet, if you cared, then the situation wouldn't be so bad. It wouldn't be as bad as it is. It's a point that Jeff Dunham's words and his actions in Malaysia taught. Far better than I can with just my words. Yeah, maybe I could build up that kind of skill, but far better than I'm willing to do with humanity. I don't know what else to say. Now the only thing is to upload this video and wait for it to reach people. And wait for people to let it sink in and think about it. And to decide how they're going to view their selves within all of existence and to reflect on how their actions, their very thoughts, send out echoes that affect all of existence around them. Huh, I could summarize it up with uh, paraphrasing what Dumbledore told uh, Harry in the, what was it, one of the Deathly Hollows. I don't remember which one it was. 
Uh, he said something along the lines of words are our most inexhaustible source of power. It's true. And it's not just the words themselves. It's the meaning they have. The meaning that you imply for them to have. Your vocal inflections, your emotion, and your thoughts behind them that echo through your words for everyone to hear and feel. Well, I think I've said enough and given everyone an exasperatedly amount of things to think about. Exasperatively conjugate the words correctly. You know what? Let's just say I've given everyone a fuck ton to think about. That's a simple way of putting it. Well, till next time. Poodle pips.